不好吗？I really love this area. There's a big cultural hub here. I first discovered the area because I was coming into the area for gallery openings and restaurant openings, and I really love the feel of the area. Then, three years ago, I was looking for a, a small uh, gallery space where I could do exhibitions, and as soon as I walked in, I was sold. One of the, the main things that I was very excited about this space is a compact space, but the layout enabled me to convert it from living space to gallery space within half an hour. And if I can just demonstrate behind this piece of art, like this. The whole idea was to make a bright, clean, white space. So this whole room clears out. And there you see, I really do eat and I really do have a kitchen. So this was another feature of the of the, of the space which I really liked. It was all compact here and I can conceal it very easily and very quickly. My, my fridge is European style which I love so it's, it's covered. I have a very compact fridge. I have a very compact freezer. I mean it's, it's a compact kitchen but there's still lots of storage area. I've, I've not felt like it's restricting my space. And the dishwasher, I mean it's a, it's a European style but it's, it's still when I've had a, an exhibition, I can get all the wine glasses in here and, you know, my microwave and all the usual cupboards. And I've just recently built this, which is my pantry. But the reason why I love this design is that when I have an exhibition, the pantry is, um, is a plinth. So this stays here. It's a food right under and then, of course, I have these acrylic boxes, too. So when I'm using the kitchen, actually, my toaster goes on here. But when I have an exhibition, it doubles up as a show area. So the other great aspect of this unit, and this is also what sold me, was these uh, sliding doors, which divide the gallery space uh, from the private space. And very easily, we can open up the private space like so and then the private space becomes part of the uh, part of the whole uh, whole unit and this of course is where I sleep I have all my reference books I also have a, a system which I've installed a kind of a holding system so this little uh, acrylic holding area that I've installed allows me to keep objects and art while I'm doing the research and also uh, the, the beautiful thing is that when I wake up every day I'm seeing these objects I'm surrounded by art and design, which is what I love. So what did you use here, these, these glass doors? Well, so yeah, this is a track system. Uh, it's a sliding track system. Just very clean, very uh, minimal. They're opaque, so you can't see anything. So once it's closed, it really is a completely private area. And as you can see, I'm right up against them, and you can't really see very much at all. So obviously when I'm living here and it's, you know, of an evening, I have these open and uh, everything becomes one. It's all part of my living space. It feels really lived in. I mean, you see a kitchen and you see a bedroom. And, yeah. Right? yeah, yeah, this is my home. This is where I live, you know, so. How yeah. big is this entire space? Around 600 square foot, around that. But the, the wonderful thing is that these large windows connect you to the out outdoors to the outside so whenever you're connected to the outside it, the space feels a lot larger and that's another aspect of the unit which I really loved also as well when I'm having an exhibition and people are coming in it looks beautiful at night 
the whole gallery is lit. It's like a white box with whatever I'm showing. It's like a little jewel box. It, you know, people can, uh, peop people can view the work from the outside too. How often do you close? I only close these actually when I have a client that I have a private appointment for in the gallery or when I have an exhibition. Most of the time it's open and the whole space is one free-flowing space. So this is the closet, just so again, very simple, very minimal. All standard. Uh, this, this pocket door I put in, or originally there was a door was opening into the bathroom and it was taking up space, so I put this in. And uh, So this is the entrance, this is the private entrance to the bathroom, but when I have an exhibition this is locked and then uh, clients don't have to go through any private area to use the washroom. And again, that's really part of the layout. So when, when I saw the space, the layout really worked well for me. And then I obviously worked with that layout to achieve what I wanted to achieve. The main exciting thing for me that when I first came into the unit and saw it was this whole progression wall here which enables me to have a progression of art and hang quite a lot of art. Um, I've had over 40 works of art in this space and it's not fit, felt crowded. So the wall space was incredible and that's what got me very, very excited. Uh, you can see what, what I've done is I put in a hanging track system, a gallery hanging track system with clear nylon cords and adjustable hooks. And that enables me to change up the art when I have exhibitions very fast and play around with space and play around with heights. And they're very inobtrusive, very minimal. The whole idea with the space is to make everything very streamlined, very clean, so that it's not feeling like a small space. And then, of course, I put all the gallery lighting in, which is all LED. And it's all full spectrum LED, so the colours that you're seeing in the artwork, they're all the exact colours. So when I have a smaller exhibition, I can divide this. And then we have a, a shoji door, which is allowing light to pass through, but also this door becomes a piece of artwork too. So basically we have a barn door system. The shoji screen um, came from Japan and then what we did is we custom built a frame. We continued the decoration in the kick plate and the top and then we mounted it as a door. So the beautiful thing is because it's paper, it's very light. It allows light to pass through. When you look at it from the main lounge area, it looks like a piece of art too. It just makes this little area a little bit more private depending on what I want to do. And also the layout is such when I have an exhibition, there's a nice flow, it's sort of a T-shape. There's a washroom here that my clients can use. And then of course, as you can see, I've put in the gallery hanging system there too. It actually works really well because when I have an exhibition, I actually continue the theme in the bathroom. I know it's an incidental thing, but uh, it really helps to enhance the exhibition. So when it's pop art, I have a piece of pop. When it's minimal, I have a piece of minimal art. Whatever, whatever the exhibition that I'm doing at the time, um, I, uh, I use the bathroom too. Why not? It's your personal bathroom as well. It's my personal bathroom. It's my, but I have a separate entrance. So when my clients want to use the bathroom and have an exhibition, they don't have to go through any private space. And a lot of people are surprised. They don't even realize that I'm living here. And when I say that I'm living here, they're, they say, well, where are you living? You know? And sometimes I joke around. Sometimes I say, oh, I'll just lie on, lie on the floor here and you know, contemplate my gallery. But no, they're very surprised that I live there. And then I show them the private space and then they understand how it's done. The whole idea really, everything I've done was to obviously have a comfortable home, but have the flexibility in the space within 20 minutes, half an hour, it converts into something else and converts into a white gallery with many areas to show objects and art. Is that a projection screen? It is. So here we're, as you see, oh this is a blank canvas, it's ready to hang some art for an exhibition. 
So I have I mounted a projector which is rotatable for 360. When these vinyl blinds come down here in my home, when I'm relaxing in the evening, so I have these, this becomes a projection screen. I don't have a television. All I do is Chromecast and I, I, pro I project. So you'll see it's pointed there so I can lounge and I can watch television on projector. But then when I have an exhibition, I rotate it and I point it here. And then I also have another white screen which comes down like this. It comes down fully actually. And then we have film footage projected on this. Sometimes when I do exhibitions, I'm projecting film footage of an interview of the artist or some correlated film footage. And this becomes really a white box. The whole space becomes a white box and it becomes a white box within half an hour, which obviously I was very delighted with. What do you do with the furniture? So everything stacks into the bedroom. The plume sofa goes on the bed and everything stacks on the bed. The, the great thing about 70s furniture, most of my pieces are vintage and 70s vintage, is that it's light and it's portable and modular. So everything stacks into the bedroom. The only thing that remains is the Corbusier armchair. And people can sit there and they can view the art uh, from this location as well. Well, you'll notice in front of these white vinyl screens too, there is a gallery hanging system, so I can Anywhere where there's an area to hang art, I've made sure that there is an, a hanging system so that art can be hung if I needed it. So, and so here you are, as you can see, it's... Um, so this space becomes the main gallery. This is the, uh, well, this is the, the main area. I set up a bar here. I have a, a little slimline bar where I serve my drinks. This is the main sort of welcoming area when people come in and then they do down go into the gallery uh, along the progression wall and there's a T and then they can view artwork and then they come back so the flow actually we've actually had over 90 people but throughout the course of the evening so there was a nice flow and it's interesting because the space is a little, little intimate most galleries that are large you get groups of people they're off in their little groups they don't really interact but the nice thing about this space is that it's intimate. So my clients who don't know one another, they're kind of forced to sort of talk to one another and it's great to see people interact and it becomes almost like partway gallery opening, partway house party. There's that really nice little mix of things and I think it's partly down to the space, you know, being so intimate. You have to be organized though, and you have to be yes. neat. Yeah, I have to be organized, you have to be neat. I mean, part of my personality is that I'm a, obviously I'm a very neat person. My job is to curate and arrange and live in a certain way, but that's also down to my personality, and that does work very well for me. So, so this, is my, this is my life here, adjusting. <laughs> Now you're seeing my obsessiveness coming out, which actually does work for me. <laughs> so before each exhibition, obviously, this is, you're now getting a glimpse of what I'm doing. Ten minutes before an exhibition, I'm leveling things. I'm very lucky that I'm able to make my living uh, surrounded by art and design, which is my passion. It's actually quite interesting because sometimes when you level something, it, it's level, but to the eye, it doesn't look level. Sometimes you have to actually not make it level for it to work. Everything is one. It, uh, this is an extension of me. You know, life without art and design would be a very boring, very dull, grey life. And uh, for me, art and design plays a big role in my life. If I wasn't making my living doing this, I'd still be doing it. The last exhibition I did, I, I hung things salon style, which is English or salon style, which is having spaces very close together and having almost no, numerous works of art all as one body. So you're playing with the gaps in between the work, and that was really challenging. That was, I was up until about 3 o'clock in the morning just 
moving things a fraction of a millimetre, trying to get the, the spacing right. But it's fun.